Okay, so the purpose of this video is to show you how to navigate through your Canvas geology course. So first go to Google. I would definitely use Google Chrome and not Internet Explorer. Log on. So find GWC. I use DuckGo DuckDuckGo because of the fact that they don't seem to monitor what you do so much so you don't have pop-up ads if you look at a pair of pants and then you see pants for the next three days. So just type in GWC. You know. Go to Golden West College. You, go, you can go directly to Canvas or my, my GWC. If you go directly to Canvas, you're going to be required to log on. So then put your username in. And of course your password. And now you're in the system and you go directly down the dashboard here. So there's a lot of things you have to scroll down through and you find your course. So if you're taking math 180, whatever your course is. So I have a lot of things on my dashboard, teach a lot of classes. So I then I'm going to use this one here as an introduction to show help. So this is the most important page. This is the home page. And what's nice about the home page is that there is below it all of the shells for the course. So we have 16 modules because there are 16 weeks in the semester. And by clicking on these modules, it tells you all the information that you need to complete that week of the course. So I've purposely taken these online courses and broken them down into 16 distinct units each representing a week in the semester. So 16 weeks. And so let's go ahead and type in, uh, log on the, the first week here. And so week number one, there is a task list. This tells you everything that you have to do for the first uh, chapter, which is introduction to geology and the scientific method. So you click on this and it immediately tells you what you have to do. This is chapter one in the textbook Fletcher. We have PowerPoint slides available, Zoom lectures, Zoom labs, and so forth. So all the Zooms are, are announced. We have a recorded lecture, a recorded lab lecture, and then we have um, all work must be due at the end of the week on Sunday. So we have a lab quiz as one of the uh, assignments and is the only assignment for this week. That lab quiz is due always at midnight on Sunday. However, chapters one has been extended to be due the second week of school along with chapter two. And this is basically to allow people who have enrolled in the class late. So go back to the home page here, go back to our task or module here. We have the lecture PowerPoint slide. So if you click on this, it takes you directly to the PowerPoint slides. So click on this and you can click on this link here and the lecture will open up. You have, in this one here you have to actually go down and click on open and this is opening up as a Microsoft and these are basically the slides that I use to go through the course. So what's nice about PowerPoint is you can just click on and go right through each one of the slides. There's a lot of pictures in some of these slides. Most of these presentations I like to teach with a lot of pictures. I think they really illustrate geology. I mean, after all, geology is a natural science. We study the earth. I think it's appropriate to have lots of slides. So that's the PowerPoint presentation. We'll X out of this, go back. And then we have recorded lectures. Now, sometimes these links don't work. They work and then sometimes they don't. So in order to view the video of the recorded lecture, 
the best place to see this from is go back to the home page. So let's go back to the home page. So here's the home page. As we scroll down past the course content of the 16 modules, past the, you know, when we meet, we have YouTube videos, though so these are direct links, you can click right on them and they play. So week number one, this goes down to the entire semester all the way to the very last week of the semester, week number 16. And so each week I have a recorded lecture and that's the very last lecture. You can click on these and you can enlarge it, you can play it and you can pause it as you want and take your time going through to get all the information. Going back up to the top here, do this the easy way. All the files, so the class notes, sometimes links don't work. So what I did is I put everything in under called files. So let's go to files. And this lists all the PowerPoint presentations. So here are all the chapters. So chapter one, scientific method, chapter two, solar system plate tectonics, mineral properties, volcanoes and igneous rocks, all the way to the end of the semester. So you have every PowerPoint notes available to you under the files tab. And like I said, sometimes links and Canvas work and other times they don't. A lot of it, it depends on somebody's computer, their connections. There's a lot of variability out there and different uh, platforms that people are viewing this from. The live lectures. So to find a live lecture, go to Conference Zoom. What time are the live lectures? Well, those are illustrated in the syllabus. So if you click on the syllabus, it tells you Geology 110, for example, lecture syllabus, Golden West College Spring 2021, Tuesday, Thursday course. And this is basically tells you all important videos and weekly modules, one through, six, one through 16 are found on the home page. So we have each week consists of a module, one through 16, corresponding to each week of the semester. And then we have weekly Zoom meetings, conference Zoom tabs, Tuesday at 11 o'clock to 12.45. There's another Zoom meeting that same day on Tuesday at 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock for the lab. And then there's another lab meeting on Thursday. So to get to the um, meeting time, just go over and conference Zoom. And immediately this shows the upcoming events that are occurring for the lectures. So I have the lectures and all the labs. And this goes out throughout the entire semester. So when the time comes, you'll simply click on that link. It'll take you into Zoom. And um, you will then be able to see the Zoom lecture. So what's the advantage of a Zoom lecture? Well, it allows interaction. It allows people to actually ask questions. You will be able to see me, and you'll see this in a minute, when I go to how we actually, how my lectures actually work. The advantage of the Zoom is I will give you particular hints, answers, basically, to the quiz. So at the end of each week, we have a quiz. All quizzes are worth 25 points. At the end of each week, we also have a lab quiz if you're taking a class that has a lab. If you're not taking the lab class, you're taking just a straight lecture like the Geology 105 class, then you will just simply have one quiz a week. All the quizzes are on Canvas. A lot of them are multiple choice, some things you may have to fill in. I will then go in after everybody completes the exam and grade the uh, essay parts and then post the grades. You can follow how you're doing in the class by simply going down to grades. And so my view is going to show all the students. Your view is going to show just yourself. As you can see that there are no points assigned yet because nobody has done anything yet. So throughout the semester, these little boxes are gonna become populated with grades and you'll be able to figure out what your total is and it'll give you a letter grade. They'll say at this point in the class, you have an 86%, which represents a B. So these are the important aspects. So if you ever wanna get out of the grades, you just go to this little 
these four little bars here and click on this and this takes you back to the menu so you can go back to the home page you can actually view the syllabus if you want a hard file of the syllabus you can simply go to files and at the very top here is the syllabus available to you this is actually a Microsoft Word document I just updated it yesterday you could either download it as a PDF or Microsoft Word and so the files tab is really important this is probably the most secure place for information to be stored because the links sometimes like I said they work in canvas and a lot of it I think is dependent upon people's internet connections and that's kind of the way it goes the modules you can click on this this takes you to the modules week by week so here's the introduction introduction first week second week and then third week so each week has the task list minerals and, and matter and minerals in this case this is actually a uh, recorded lecture on YouTube. Uh, like I said, sometimes these links work, so let's click on this one here. And there, the link actually worked. So sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. So if they don't work, which often happens, and you want to view the, the video for week number three, then you can simply scroll down here and go down to week three, minerals and matter and there it is you can click on that video and this is basically similar to our zoom lecture the formats a little different because I'm standing in front of a large format screen when I do the lecture the zoom lecture I stand in front of a television set a widescreen television set and again you can see me and the advantage is that you can actually ask questions so the videos are there in case you miss a lecture I would not depend on just say, well, I'm going to blow off the Zoom, and some people do that. And I'm just going to watch the recorded lecture. The recorded lectures aren't going to have as much information as the live lecture, the Zoom. So I would try and attend Zoom lectures. So these are the only tabs I really use. I don't really too much pages. Every now and then there will be a discussion. Uh, there might be an extra credit assignment, but if I do anything like that, I will notify you by email. I'll email the entire course saying that, hey, there's an extra credit assignment up. It's a video of a field trip. Watch the video and then go into Canvas and ask, answer the questions. And all the correct responses will be extra credit points. So now we're going to go in and I'm going to go to a different format. And I'll show you exactly how the Zoom lectures work. Okay, so this is where we're going to start our Zoom lectures. I will log into Zoom 15 to 20 minutes prior to class starting. You'll see this scene of a drone flying around downtown Los Angeles. At this point, you can ask me questions. Bear in mind that I'll probably be setting some last minute things up. It takes three computers to put this on. And so it's a little bit technical in the last minute or two right before class, I'm kind of running around getting things all coordinated. One minute before class starts, we'll have some theme music.
When the music stops, we will directly go into our PowerPoint. This is the same PowerPoint that you can download. I will then make an appearance on the screen. And what's nice about this particular format of a lecture is you're able to see me. I'm able to see your little Zoom boxes. You can then interact at any time and you can ask questions about any of the particular aspects of this presentation. So this is not a narrative where I sit here and present the information. I would like very much participation from the students in this class. And don't be shy because if you have a question, I will guarantee you that there is another student in your class, a colleague, who probably has the very same question that you have. So what's nice about this particular setup, this is Sedimentary Rocks, we'll be here in a couple weeks. I'll be able to go through and talk about how sedimentary rocks are formed, how they're derived, their derivatives basically of the weathering products of other rocks. And so at the PowerPoints I talk about the important aspects of sedimentary rocks, what they're used for, how we identify sedimentary rocks. Um, if you're taking the Geology 110 class, we go into a little bit more detail as far as the descriptors on how we identify rocks. For the 105 classes, we do a little bit more generalization. And if you're really interested in identifying rocks and minerals and some fossils, then I suggest you take the Geology 110 class. And then every spring, with the exception of this spring, I teach historical geology, which is kind of the history of the entire Earth. And we look at a lot of fossils and do a lot of field trips, about nine field trips throughout the semester. So instead of doing a lab, we go out in the field. So this is really a good format. I'm able to introduce videos often. I do that. I'll bring in some videos. And so because of the high definition TV, I'm able to do that. I have to realize that I am operating out of a very small studio in my living room of my house in Huntington Beach. Kind of like that... Uh, 93.1 Jack. It says broadcasting from a dumpy little um, studio in Pasadena or someplace. Well, we're coming from a dumpy little house in Huntington Beach. And this is our format. So, Zoom lectures are important because as I go through these PowerPoints, in particular, I will tell you important aspects, things that are really important for the quiz. The recorded lecture does not go into that much detail as far as telling you specific things that will be on the quiz. So like water is the most important force in nature, they make a good quiz question. And I might want to say, hey, there's a lot of uh, misrepresentation out there. People think that it's the wind that's one of the most erosive forces on nature. And yet, wind is very uh, minor in comparison to water. So water is really important for eroding rocks. It's also equally important for the deposition and the formation of those rocks. So we'll go into some of these aspects of the details and nuts and bolts. I cannot stress enough how important it is to log into the Zoom. This allows interaction and I will basically give you hints on to what is going to be on the quiz. So at the end of each week, we have a quiz in Canvas. So this is geology by way of Zoom lectures. It's not my idea of teaching. It's really not what I signed up for at all. But we're given what we're given, and we just have to make the best of it. So this, hopefully this China virus will get uh, eradicated soon with the um, inoculations of people throughout the country. Um, I realize it's a slow process, but, you know, it's kind of the first time we've done this with this type of a population. So this thing kind of caught a lot of people off guard. So let's just get through it. And I'm here to help you. I want you to succeed. I realize this is not the ideal situation, but it's the best we can possibly do. And I will do everything I can to help you. But at the same time, you want to be able to help yourself. So hopefully we'll have a very good and a very successful semester. Bye now.